Hello, everyone. Welcome. Bill Hammond with KC Elder Law Firm here, and I've got a special guest today, uh, Shelby King from the Frudenthal Center for Parkinson's Disease is here with me. Welcome, Shelby. Thank you. Good to have you. So uh, uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, Frudenthal Center for uh, Parkinson's Disease. Um, obviously, it, you know we know from the title uh, kind of what you guys do, but tell us a little bit about it. Um, actually, uh, it's, it's kind of a long story. I'll try to make it as short as possible. You've got as much time as you need. Awesome. Um, so long story short, I had the pleasure of meeting a nurse through a mutual friend and this nurse, you could tell right away that she had a heart for people with Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. And, um, so she realized very quickly that in St. Joe, there was hardly any resources for people with Parkinson's. The only thing that was available was a makeshift support group that people just happened to find each other. And it wasn't necessarily a support group like you and I would think of a support group is basically just people getting together and chatting. And, and yes, I know that they were supporting each other, but it really wasn't an organized thing where people were coming in to educate and assist and give resources to. And so uh, our mutual friend was a physical therapist and she was recently tra trained on LSVT. Some people know it as big. It's a type of therapy specifically for people with Parkinson's. And so it's almost like a God thing where those two came together uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then they came to me to say, man, you know, we really want to put something together for people with Parkinson's in St. Joe. And so I'm like, you know what, let me take it to the owner of Frudenthal and let's see what we can do. Awesome. And so I met with the owner of Frudenthal's, which is Joe Frudenthal and told him about it, told him about the, this wonderful love that these two ladies had and how could we help? And so I'll be honest with you and say, yeah, it was Frudenthal's financial backing, but it, it's the heart of the nurse that we have, the physical therapist that we have. And they started the Frudenthal Center for Parkinson's disease. It started only about with five or six people. They have over 60 people now. Wow. Um, we have developed a, a boxing program and another really crazy thing that happened is um, the owner of Tidal Boxing in St. Joe. She actually closed Tidal Boxing, but she had all this wonderful boxing equipment, professional equipment, and she's like, you know, count me in. And so she donated all of this boxing stuff. And boxing is one of the things that's proven to help people with Parkinson's. So yeah, we have- so, so but my understanding, Shelby, just so I, we're all clear, by training, you are a social worker. Is that correct? Yes, I have. I'm a master's degree social awesome. worker. Yeah. Awesome. Uh -huh. And, you know, I know from my elder law practice, one of the uh, challenges that uh, uh, folks who have Parkinson's have is so you, you have some uh, sometimes some difficulty with some of those small movements like, uh, I don't know, buttoning a shirt or something. And then you also have those what you and I would, I guess, call large amplitude exercises. And that's where the the boxing comes in. So tell us about the difference between the, the small movements and, and the large movements and what you guys do. Well, for people that don't know very much about Parkinson's, Parkinson's tends, and this is not lumping everyone together because everyone experiences something different, but Parkinson's tends to make things small. So you'll notice a small shuffle in their walk or a small uh, voice because it, it almost like takes away their voice and they're very, very quiet. Um, sometimes you'll see the tremors. And so um, our, the theory is, and it's been proven so many times, and we've, we have also had the pleasure of all three of us went to this wonderful um, program on Parkinson's. And we all try to keep up as much as possible with, you know, new things for Parkinson's. But so we train big, meaning like if, if we train you to do big movements or we train you to, to have loud movements, it's going to kind of meet in the middle. And so these little tiny things and these big things kind of meet in the middle to make it more natural. And so, yeah, definitely the boxing helps with that. And so and in a therapy. sense, you're, you're helping them expand their world. Yes. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm not sure if this is right or not, Shelby, but it seems to me like you're kind of almost like retraining their brain. Yeah, bit. retraining their brain. Yes. Yeah. Hit yeah. On the head. Very cool. And, and so if you were kind of trying to retrain for the small movements, 
really not what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to retrain the brain for the big movements, and then that helps with all the movements. Is that accurate? Absolutely. So yeah. are you telling me that you actually have uh, folks with Parkinson's come in and box? Yes. <laughs> Tell me about that. That's pretty cool. I'll tell you, that is, I would say that is the most attended program that we have. Um, and I think it's more than just about the boxing. Um, you know, some of the people listening to them, you know, they kind of think of the bag as Parkinson's. And so like they're beating up the Parkinson's and, and so like, it's not even just a physical thing. It's a social, emotional thing that they're doing. Um, the other thing that always brings me to tears every single time I go, and I've been several times and it still brings me to tears, is um, the camaraderie that they have with each other. Um, you know, they're giving each other high fives and they're, um, you know, talking to each other and encouraging each other and helping each other. Um, it's a, it's an amazing thing to see. And then we also have the caregivers sitting on the side and they're supporting each other too. I mean, just by, you know, being there, they take sure. a walk together. They, you know, are over there doing their crafts and stuff like that. Sure. So. so how do you guys keep it safe in this day and age of, you know, COVID and everything. And, and so they're, they're boxing, they're, they're punching a bag. Is that right? And how does that whole thing work? Yeah. We unfortunately had to close the center down just for a little bit when this crazy COVID thing started. Um, but we, and, and you know, it's, it's probably a blessing that um, we also have a, a nurse that is on the staff because, you know, she's kind of up on everything too, to try to keep people safe. And at a time where we thought that it was more safe to come back, we're doing everything that regulations tell us to do with the mask and the trying to stay far apart. You know, before they were, you know, bag by bag, but now they're like, you know, there's a, several bags in between them and, sure. and that type of thing. So we're trying to do the safe distance thing and plenty of Germex and plenty of cleaning. And so, you know, we're trying to stay as safe as possible. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so um, with your typical patient, how, how often would someone come in and, and part you know, do the boxing and whatnot? Yeah, we have the boxing three times a week. Um, we have the actual um, therapy about once a week. We're doing a support group. Um, you know, we have a whole bunch of other programs too. We had a, um, a tandem bike that was donated. And so we have um, a person in the front that's you know, pedaling at normal pace. And then we have the person with Parkinson's on the back. And, you know, that's another way that we've been, you know, exercising everyone. Exercise, keeping, keeping the body moving. If you look at the studies, that's, that's key. Yeah. Awesome. And of course we don't want names or anything, but um, I'm, you've had some pretty good success stories, I'm guessing. We have, um, <laughs> we've had people that unfortunately, you know, come in in wheelchairs and um, at least they're standing now, at least they're, you know, like, like we've seen progression. Um, and so it's, it's an amazing thing to see. That's awesome. So, uh, and you guys are up in St. Joe, is that correct, Shelby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how does someone uh, get a hold of you? And if someone wants to participate in boxing or your other programs, support groups and whatnot, what would be the next step? Yeah, it's really, really easy. You just give me a call. Um, my number is 816-676-8050. Uh, um, you just give me a call. And then what I'll do is I'll take all the demographics and then I will have Stephanie, who's the executive director at the center, um, she will then call them and there is kind of a little assessment that we have to do because we want to start with the baseline so we know where to start with because everyone is different. Um, so she'll call and make an appointment and, and get you started. Awesome. And that phone number again, Shelby? Yeah, it's 816-676-8050 and you'll get me. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And, you know, one of the things that's a challenge uh, as far as Parkinson's is concerned from an elder law perspective is whenever we have a client who is diagnosed with Parkinson's or whether the family suspects that it might be Parkinson's, that's the time they actually should begin to look into doing some planning you know, wills, trusts, powers of attorney. And the reason is because as many of our viewers know, Shelby, there's a five-year look back from a Medicaid perspective. And so, 
you know, when our clients are, are early in the process with Parkinson's, actually the perfect time for someone to begin looking at their legal planning, at their powers of attorney in place and whatnot. And of course, as I think everyone on here knows, we offer a free consultation and uh, all you have to do is give us a call, 913-338-5713. Again, 913-338-5713. Offices in Overland Park and Lee Summit in Kearney, Missouri. Or you can visit us online at kcelderlaw.com. Thanks so much, Shelby. Really appreciate your time today. Absolutely. Thank you. You're very welcome.